Let us now study the cognitive domain in a little bit detail. This is the most popular and widely used domain of learning and it is part of the cognitive domain. It is divided into six levels of difficulty of how we manipulate knowledge in our brain. The lowest level of learning is called knowledge level or information level. This can be memorized by rote learning. The second higher level is comprehension or logical understanding. Logic is known as the reasoning ability. If a student understands the matter with logic, he or she knows the subject matter at the second level, that is the comprehension level. The third level is application, that is the ability to apply knowledge in the real life situation. The fourth level is called analysis level. That is, understanding how the knowledge is linked and organized with its various constituents and other subjects. It also provides critical thinking related to the causal factor or the critical success or failure factors of that subject matter. The fifth level is synthesis. That is, creativity or creating new idea based on the existing understanding, application and analysis of the subject matter. The sixth and the final level is evaluation level. That is the ability to assess or evaluate the, the relative merits and validity of the information or idea or between two or three things. I like to now provide a few examples to clarify how these different elements of this taxonomy can be interpreted. If the brain simply memorizing memorizes facts and its ability to reproduce these facts by rote learning, it is at level one. Here the mental skill of just memorizing is sufficient. For example, Memorizing a math or statistics formula, memorizing the name of medicines or the names of cities or capitals of different countries. When a student learns subjects by memorizing without understanding the logic behind it, we say that he or she is learning at level one, that is the knowledge or information level. When the student understands the logic of the math formula or reasoning behind the subject matter, we say that he or she is understanding it or their level of understanding is at level 2. Understanding involves using the logical ability of the brain. It mostly involves the question of why rather than what. For example, why is this thing functioning like this, rather than what is this thing. For example, in biology, students learn about cells and their parts. When they are taught different parts of the cell and told to memorize their names only, we are teaching them at level 1. When they can answer the question how they work and why they are needed different things to work together, then it is at level 2. Let me give you another example from the management sciences at the university level. One of the most popular courses in universities is leadership. 
If we teach students the key elements of leadership, we are teaching them at level one. Typical exam question at this level could be, define or explain what is leadership. When they understand why and how these elements or functions of leadership work, then it is of level two. Typical exam question at this level could be, why is leadership important for a successful career? When the student knows how to apply leadership in real life and in different situations, it is known at level three, that is the application level. Typical questions at this level would be, you are traveling in an aircraft when suddenly you are told that someone in the aircraft suffered from a heart attack. How will you deal with this situation? Similarly, if the student knows how to apply math or stat formulas in different corporate problems or different corporate functions, then the student has acquired level three of cognitive domain. One of the topics taught to students in engineering universities or even at higher secondary schools, mathematics, is differential equations or integration. And similarly, in stat or statistics is standard deviation and variance. If the students are taught these subjects and if we want to check whether they have achieved level three of cognitive domain, we need to teach and test in the application of these concepts in the corporate scenario or real life scenario or different professional scenarios or situations. Like these topics are applied in industry, production, quality or other departments. I've checked, audited and tested students in variety of schools and universities in different countries. I generally see that majority of students may know the topic at level one. Few come up to level two or three. Their formulas, for example, very few really understand and can apply the subject in real life environment. The fourth level is called analysis level. Analysis is about study of parts and how they are connected together. It's about study of causes of phenomena. It's a research or inquiry based understanding. The typical question at this level would be, what are the critical success and failure factors of leadership in textile industry or in engineering sector or in defense or whatever? Or what are the reasons of high growth rate of China in the last one decade. The fifth level is called synthesis. This level is achieved when a student uses the basic knowledge to build upon something new in its application or add something new to the existing knowledge. It requires building the special abilities in students where they can think out of the box or something new from the topic they have studied. That is, they have to be creative. Typical questions would be, how would you apply the principle of good leadership at your home or in your classrooms? Something which they have not been taught and they come up with new ideas. The sixth and the highest level in Bloom's taxonomy is called evaluation level. This is the ability of students to make judgments based on critical thinking and reliable information. Questions at this level may be such as, what's the difference between Christianity and Islam? Or compare between the Western and Eastern family systems. Mm -hmm.